You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today, Jason Bay from Blissful Prospecting is back with his regular weekly prospecting tip. Here he is. All right, so I was making cold calls with one of our clients earlier this week, and they work for one of the largest commercial real estate brokerages in the entire world. And so they have some, a bit of social proof where some people, you know, sort of already know where the, who the company is. But I wanted to actually share because we're, we're training them on this right now and they're doing a pretty good job of it already. But there were some things that came up in the call that we've been working on that I thought would be really good to share if you're making cold calls and for whatever reason, people are getting angry <laughs> or they might not be interested or you, you, you might just be looking for, you might be doing this really well right now and just looking for a different way of approaching this. So I wanted to share a tactic that's working really, really well for them. And it's opening up with personalization. So hopefully you're already doing research on prospects and you have a reason for reaching out. But what I oftentimes hear is that people don't really mention what that reason is. And they don't do it soon enough in the call and get the prospect talking about that in a way that's going to engage them and get them more receptive to meeting with you later. So the way that I like to open up cold calls, and a lot of this is supported from Gong.io, is, you know, hey, this is Jason Bay with Blissful Prospecting. How have you been? And you let the prospect talk. That line, how have you been? A lot of evidence and data around that. Like I said, I'll link to the Gong IO article so you can see more about opening lines. But I love that one. You get them talking. And the person will typically say, hey, good. You know, What's up? How can I help you? Or they might ask you how you're doing. In either case, you're going to have a really short dialogue there. And then you want to go straight to the point. The reason for my call is... And this is where you want to actually insert the personalization. So I'll give you a couple of examples here. So in the commercial real estate example, a lot of times what we're seeing there when they're calling into what's referred to as a multi-market account with multiple locations, we're looking for triggers that might indicate that they're expanding or mergers and acquisitions might be another trigger that they might need some help uh, from a broker. So you say, hey, the reason for my call is I noticed that you guys are closing down a few of your locations and you mentioned in one of your guys' shareholder calls that you're focused on consolidating those locations right now. So I opened up with something personal to that prospect and that's going to grab their attention right away. The second thing you want to do is have an engaging question that you can ask. And this could be as simple as, so how's the consolidation coming along so far? Or, hey, are you guys having any challenges? Because sometimes what I hear when consolidating is people deal with this type of challenge. Is that something that you guys are running up against right now or something that's top of mind for you? So personalization, have a reason for the call, have that personalization. And I had another episode about this on daily sales tips that you should check out. But make sure that personalization is connected to how you might be able to help them. And then you need to ask an engaging question. So I'm going to give you one more example. So let's say I'm cold calling for prospecting services, which is what we sell, prospecting you know, services, training, that sort of thing. You know, Hey, Tom, you know, the reason for my call is I noticed that you guys are hiring SDRs right now, and it looks like you guys have added three SDRs in the last three or four months. And I was wondering, how do you guys typically handle you know, the prospecting between SDRs and AEs? I know that you know, for some... Uh, companies, they want their AEs prospecting. I was curious, how, do, how does that handoff work for you guys? And I'm asking them something and showing them at the same time that I sort of understand how SDRs and AEs are broken down. And sometimes at certain companies, they have AEs do a lot of their own prospecting. Sometimes they don't, etc. And I'm asking them a question related to that to get them talking. So make sure when you're doing your cold calls, open up with that personalization, open up with something that actually shows you did your research and then ask an engaging question that will get them talking about it. If you appreciate Jason's tips as much as I do, then be sure to follow him on LinkedIn where you'll find even more of his thoughts. You can find that link at dailysales.tips forward slash 276. After you've connected with Jason, be sure to come back tomorrow for another great sales tip. Thanks for listening.